hi all so today in this video we will be learning about how we can open browser in non incognito mode as you know like in playwright uh, if we open a browser it al al always open in incognito mode right so let me show you that first so basically uh, we have some test like navigation example right so if you want to run this test so basically these tests are inside uh, the directory called um, basics so pytest minus s and i can run or directly i can use python uh, basics and then navigation test examples right so if i just run it you can see the browser is opening in incognito mode so see this this is incognito mode right so let's see you have a requirement to open this browser in uh, normal mode means non incognito mode in that case uh, how do you achieve that thing so let me show you that so let's come here so i have already created one uh, file open browser non incognito mode dot py and then i have just used this basic template which we need it uh, now so here you can see browser equals to playwright dot chromium dot launch this launch method we have already learned like how you can pass the very different types of parameter so now here we have to use a different uh, method so you can see here uh, there is two method when you just hit control and space bar you can see there is a launch method that we have already that we already know but there is another method that is called launch persistent context so let's use it and now let me go inside this method so you can see there is whole lot of parameters available like user data directory so this parameter will not be there if you if you come here and let me open this launch as well so uh, this is actually i wanted to open in separate browser but it is going inside that but that's fine so you can see this user data directory parameter is here for launch persistent context right but if you come here and if you click on this launch method you can see there is no user directory user data directory parameter right so this is specific to this launch persistent context okay so we we will use this parameter in our current scenario now how will we be using it that will be showing very shortly so next we can see this thing a few th more thing i wanted to just show you um, uh, just uh, read this one thing here it returns the persistent browser context instance okay so here when we are returning when we are using this launch persistent context it's actually not returning the browser instance it's actually returning the context so you can write like context okay so this is the context it is returning but in case of launch method it is returning browser instance that's the simple difference so this is returning browser instance and here this launch persistent context this is returning browser context instance right so just remember this difference and uh, now now let me show you uh, without wasting much time so here we have to pass user data directory let me write it user this is just a com uh, name just i am using it so user data path i am using just user data path this is a variable that i will be creating so let me create it create a parameter here no not here i just want it here so what this parameter will be right so just adding some uh, semicolon i mean just double quote just to uh, avoid the error now what next do we need it here so we need it uh, just one more command like uh, headless right so headless equals to false that's it now this thing is required now so we have to construct what is the user data path let me show you that so if you come here again now here it it is writing like um, so launches browser that uses persistent storage located at user data dir that we are, that we are using now and returns the only context okay and closing this context will automatically close the browser so here you can see this parameter which is user data directory it's saying like path to a user data directory which stores browser session data like 
cookies and local story so basically what we will be doing here we will be just at giving the path of our chromium browser so let me show you that so basically if you just come here and now you can see here like um, this path you have to go just you have to use percentage uh, local app data percentage and if you hit enter you can see you come here there is a chromium folder would be there and inside that there is user data and then you come to this default so you need this path you have to add this path here okay but what I'm doing here I'm just done not, not copy pasting it because in runtime we have to fetch it because let's see today you need to run your script now if I just hard code it here like this it is not good because this is specific to my machine if you have to use it in your machine you have to use some relative path so let's do that so what we'll be doing here we'll be just importing one package called OS module so not package this is a module OS module and uh, next waste dot uh, environment get environment and here we'll be using that uh, local app data okay so local app data this is this will return us the uh, user local or you can write local or app data path okay so up to this folder it will give us uh, this local okay this path it will uh, fetch us so just copy it and paste it here next here we will be using waste dot path dot uh, there is a method called join and here we have to give this app data path comma and here uh, we will be giving the remaining path so this one this and this folder so remaining is from chromium to default just paste it and just give some there is a I mean there is issue here so there is encoding issue so you have to uh, just give this double slash okay to parse it uh, okay we are good now so we are using this the default path here and now uh, let's see let's run it let's see what is happening so um, this is under miscellaneous and uh, we have to use open browser in non cognito mode so as you know if you are not mentioning any channel then it will automatically by default it will open in chromium browser so let's see first the chromium one okay so what happens uh, actually we have not opened any page right so we have to use we have created the context now from this context we have to create page so new page and here we have to write uh, page and now page dot go to now we can write google.com right so let me run it now oh okay i think i have to give http s slash Uh, we can take any any method like from here we can copy this this part so okay, so we copied the google.com and now let me run it again so now you can see observe it uh, carefully let me give some delay here so what I can do I can just give a delay called page dot uh, wait for timeout and let me give a delay of 5000 milliseconds and now let me run it again so as you can see here this is not in incognito mode right it is non incognito mode so this is how we can open our browser in incognito mode 
uh, using Chromium. Now, if I have to use uh, any different other other browser like Chrome, then you just have to use like Channel, and uh, then uh, just mention Chrome, and then comma. That's it. Run it. So you can see this is opening open. This is open in Chrome browser. I hope you are able to see it. And next, uh, if you have to use in Edge, and then you can use MSH. So as you can see, this is open in Microsoft Edge. Right. So I hope you you are able to understand what how you have to do this thing. And if you have any questions, do let me know. And thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.